Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Richard's Recap, and today I'm here with my guests, Michael, Ryan Pratty, and Colton. And today, we're going to be recapping the new Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer. Let's go. He, it was, you could see his hair. Should we go back? I know. Oh, oh, yeah, just reverse it, rewind it. Look, that's clearly, it's got to be Adam Driver. He's got the Luke saber you can see right there. Mm -hmm. Look at his hair, look at his hair. That's what you're talking about. And yeah. then he clearly has the head. The, the he looks head. afraid, though. I don't know why Finn is afraid. I mean, I can see it's his first fight or something, but... Um, I'd be afraid. <laughs> so this is the Force Awakens poster. And yeah, as you can see, look, the girl... I don't know her name. She's... <clears throat> Clearly, the the largest like presence other than Kylo Ren on the poster, so she has to be the main character. So I think she's uh, I think she's Han Solo's daughter. But as you yeah, can see, I think she's the, she could be. She's a heroine, maybe. Yes. The new Death Star. That's what I'm looking at. Look yes. at that. What is that? What that is that? Like I think it's called Star. Star. I think it's called Star Killer. Star Killer. Yeah. But, but dude, um, what they have Star Destroyers. Star like, Killer. Isn't that Garrett Merrick? Malik Gar Garrett Malik from the Force. But, but, but no, but yeah. I think it's actually it called the Star Killer. Uh, yeah, from the Force Unleashed. But look, look at the way her staff is like juxtaposed, like with. Uh, Wait, hold on. Hair. I just want to point out who who is this character right here? That little the little thing with two eyes. George R. Binks. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I hope not. I hope not. What do you think that no, is? It's, it's, it's a wee man. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> no. Who can that be? It's. I think that's the lady from. I don't know her name. She's from Twelve Years a Slave. I'm pretty sure that's her character. All right. So, what do you guys take out of the film? Like, what do you think about that trailer that we just watched? Watch Street Breeze are cool. Okay, what about you, Paul? <laughs> what do, I I'm not sure. I enjoyed it. Got me pumped. Are you excited yeah. for the film? I'd say so, yeah. I mean, I'm I don't excited know for any of the prequels. Dude, Dude, what, 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 where's, like, uh, Luke's son or whatever? Or Han, Han Solo's son? Han Solo? Well, there was, he was, there was well in the son. expanded universe, there's, like, Mary Jade Skywalker and the other ones. But no, I but, that, but the expanded universe yet. isn't canon anymore. So because of this film, yeah, correct. they they're retconning it. I just want to point out, Chewie does have his rifle here, so he might he might kill somebody. He might miss. There's a possibility, like everyone does. Everyone is armed, so they, there could be. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I want to see? I want to see a stormtrooper hit their target. That's what I want to see. <laughs> do, you think that, do you think that um the chrome trooper, as they've been calling him, Captain Phasma? Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma. Yeah. 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 Is she gonna have a big role in this? You think? I think so. I mean, she's set. She's front and center in the. uh Poster. All right, what do you guys think about I thought Finn? She was supposed to be a bounty hunter. Finn, I tell me what do you, what do you think his backstory okay, is? Here's Why does he have the saber? Fill I in. think that the girl and Finn are siblings because in the new when Disney retconned the expanded universe in Star Wars, yeah. in the so new Star Wars expanded universe in the comics they showed that Han Solo was actually married after A New Hope to, yeah. a, to a black woman. He does end up marrying Leia, but yeah. in the expanded universe, before that happens, he's married to a black woman. So these should be half, children, half brothers and sisters? I don't think anything to do with it. I think they're going to be half siblings, yes. Yeah. Connected through Han Solo. Right. Hmm. Gotcha. I've, I've never heard that theory before. What do you think um, Finn's role well, is in this play? He clearly, I think like, he's a hero. Well, yeah, yeah obviously. He's, he's, he's got the Luke saber, and look, he's all he's all the way on the right and with the rest of like the blue imagery. Like He's like obviously the good guy. And what's she holding? Is that a lightsaber? It's like a Staff. It's a staff, but see how it's against uh, Kylo Ren's yeah. cross guard saber. And if you look, she's kind of like in the middle <coughs> of the light and dark. And look, pull up the other poster, the one that they released before this. You'll also see it's the exact same thing. She's in the middle Which between the light and dark, right here. This one? Yeah. You see, it also shows her again in the middle between she is in the good and dark. That's pretty interesting. All right, now here's the bread and butter that people want to see. What I've noticed <laughs> is that there's a complete <laughs> lack of Luke in any of the, of the marketing for the movie. <laughs> yeah, what, Luke, what do you guys think about Luke's character? He was only in that one scene. Luke, uh, he's not, he hasn't been in any scenes in any marketing for for the movie at yeah, all. Yeah, he's only been in that one trailer for None like of the 20 posters. seconds. But he's officially on the cast? He is on the cast. And I think that the thing is, I think they're keeping it under wraps yeah, for, some kind, of the yeah, they, for some kind of uh, twist in the movie. Interesting. All right, now what do you guys Mark think Hamill. about Kylo Ren? Kylo Ren looks I think, really bad. I honestly, I believe that he is going to be Adam, uh, the actor Adam Driver under the mask. What's I his think, backstory? What do you think about him? Because we know that's a self-constructed lightsaber. That's why it's got the power going. That's, I, and you also know the lightsaber doesn't look as stable. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it like looks a little shady. I mean, this is I don't know if it's fan art or not, but it does look a little Maybe shady. Maybe he doesn't like know the specific 
way to create a lightsaber because he hasn't had to, like a mask or something. Maybe he's well, he probably yeah, he probably. Is well, what's the mask? Why would he need a mask? It's something well, happen. I don't know. It's he clearly was like idolizing Darth, Darth Vader, Vader. Yeah. At one point. Yeah, because I think in the one scene that they released at some uh, event, like like he had his mask off and he looked perfectly normal. So I want to know why does he have that mask on? Probably just to like you know simu simulate. Uh, do, you think, do you think? Do you think? Do you think it does yeah. anything? Like does he? Have, does yeah, like his eyes. Like well, sure, I'm sure probably. I mean, it unless changes his voice. Point, unless it's pointless. I mean, it changes his voice, but do you think it has any like real application? Like, what can it do? Well, the only reason to change his voice, I mean, Darth Vader changed. His Maybe voice he's trying to hide his identity. Oh, huh, very interesting. Maybe he's a significant character that people are aware of, <laughs> and he wants to hide his identity for some reason. All right, now, what do you guys think about this the new droid? Ball, about BB-8? I think well, it's a I, soccer ball. I mean, I think. <laughs> I mean, I I don't really have an opinion on BB-8. I mean, I not, think he's pretty cool. He's cool, yeah. I he, although the magnetic head, the magnetic head and ball is a little ballers. interesting. I feel like something dramatic's gonna happen with that. With BB-8, like something's gonna happen. Like you know how they have like, like, R2D2 and they try to make it like. <laughs> R2-D2. R2-D2. <laughs> I think because he's the new droid, they've got to do something so that viewers are going to want him. Like, R2-D2. That's what I'm saying. People They're like going to make it emotionally so, connect with him. Yeah. Something's going to happen. Like, they, like, I think after this movie, people are going to be like, I like BB-8. Almost as much as they like R2-D2. Here's, okay, the, yeah. here's the my only worry about BB-8. Is that R2-D2 had that little, uh, he had that thing that would come out and would uh, hack the units, yeah. the consoles. BB-8 is a ball. Well, so, like, see how he has those things on. Like, he does have the little pods. Yeah. yeah. He could probably still. All right, so let's make some predictions. What do you think gonna, you're going to see in the film? Wars and stars. Action packed. I think it's going to be action packed. It's going to be a lot of drama. <laughs> a lot of plot twists. My boy JJ's going to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> JJ's going to do it right. Do it right. Uh, I'm pretty that sure is? it's going to take place a very long time ago. And and I'd say that uh, it's probably, since this is the first one of a uh, trilogy, that it's probably going to just open up a lot of things for what's going to happen in the like, more in story than be, It might not, because think about A New Hope. It uh, didn't end on a cliffhanger or anything. Well, I mean, it's probably not going to end on a cliffhanger. They destroyed the, the well, Death Star, they got some medals. That could have been well, the end. Of the, the the, I think that they'll probably end on a cliffhanger because... That's I mean, it has to. If there's uh, a trilogy, I mean, you yeah, I mean, that's not necessarily true. Right. The other two, the, I mean, the first two of the prequels, Phantom Menace and Phone, I think <coughs> Phone, they didn't end on. Well, uh, like, I'd say that, uh, that I remember at least. Probably going to give a lot of backstory, like what happened in a, the events leading from the sixth movie to this one. It's going to lead up to, like, what's going to happen but on do you in the think, next movie. Do you think, maybe for a cliffhanger, do you think that she is going to, because she's in between good and bad, do you think that she might? Follow Kylo in multiple posters. She is in the middle. Since she's in the middle, I think she might have a conflict with right. it, like an inner conflict, yeah. deciding whether to go to the dark side or the light side of the force. So to wrap this up, all in all, what did you guys think of the trailer? What did you first think, Michael? Um, I thought it was really exciting, and I can't wait to see the movie. I thought it was pretty interesting. I liked it better than the first trailer. Liked it a lot. Introduced a lot of the characters. Kind of got a little bit of the more information from the first one. I agree. I think it was a very good trailer. A lot of information that we were missing out, and really good. This is Richard's recap. I'd like to thank my guests Michael, Ryan, and Colton. Signing off.